Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Rust video. Today we're going to be having a look at a few energy efficiency tricks you can use in the game of Rust. To start off with, we're going to have a look at the uh, automatic lights circuit. So what this circuit does is uh, uses the solar panel to uh, power the blocker. And when the uh, sun goes down, the blocker is no longer powered and your lights turn on. And then when the uh, sun comes back up, the blocker gets blocked again and your lights turn off. Now the thing with this circuit is, is that it's drawing power whether the lights are on or off because all the power is being diverted at the branch here. It's always diverting 13 power off to power the lights now we're going to go over here and have a look at a better variation of this circuit. You can see here that the active battery usage here is 11. And then when we uh, turn off the solar panel, lights go on, same as the other circuit. But you'll notice here the active usage has gone up to 23. And when we reconnect the uh, solar panel back up, the uh, conveyor is going to power up and when it goes for its first transfer, the filter fail will lock off that circuit again and the uh, active usage will drop back down to 11. So we're essentially saving the 12 power of all those lights when we're not using them, which is very energy efficient. Essentially how we're doing this is with the uh, memory cell. So the power is either going to go all the way through to the next part of our circuit or it's going to be diverted to the lights. And uh, what's going to be triggering that is whether the blocker gets blocked by the conveyor's filter fail. So we're using the conveyor here, the filter fail. When it's not connected to anything, it'll be failing the transfer because it's not connected to anything to transfer. So it's essentially giving us a free unit of power to plug into our toggles, for example, on the memory cell and also on the uh, blockers. We're gonna move on to the second little mini circuit we have here, which is an uh, automatic electronic furnace circuit. Uh, what we're looking at here is the detector conveyor, which will be uh, toggling our memory cell. So when that detects all, it'll be turning on our furnaces and it'll be turning on our conveyors to input the ore and also to move the uh, smelted goods back to our box. And then if it doesn't detect ore, the uh, detector conveyor will turn off all those things and divert the power through to the next possible part of the circuit. Uh, what we're looking at here now is the knee octopulation box, which uh, allows you to transfer 480 uh, units per stack through to our electric furnaces, we're gonna use it here. So there's gonna be plenty of throughput for our three electric furnaces. Uh, we'll have a look here at our input conveyor. We'll see we've got some small values here to uh, keep our furnaces ticking along. And then no, no filters required for our output one. Back to the knee octopulation box. Um, so you can see here, yep, the active usage at the moment is 11. We're going to chuck some ore into our knee box and off the furnaces go automatically and the active usage jumps up to 22. Now you could essentially expand this circuit to go up to anywhere of 30 furnaces with one large battery. And because you're not going to be having the furnaces on all the time, only when you're smelting stuff, which is only when it's detecting the ore, you can power all these furnaces up to 30 with just one solar panel. And um, as you can see, we'll take the ore out and the furnaces turn themselves off automatically. So you, that'll mean it'll switch the active usage back to 11, put the ore back in and the active usage goes back up to 22. Anyway, that's about all we have for today's video. I'm going to link the schematics for this uh, circuit or these two little circuits in the uh, description so you can check them out and uh, play around with them on the Rustrition website. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below or try and get to it. And also don't forget to join me over on the uh, Rustricity uh, workshop discord i'll link that in the description as well below come and talk all things rust electricity and uh 
come say good day to Nee, the bloke that uh, showed me the uh, knee octopulation box. Anyway, see you in the next video. Cheers.